Hi and welcome to Tattoo Shop Talk and today we will talk about subject that recently was very popular in all tattoo pages and it's called Save the Pigment. There was this thing going wild on social media, people were sharing posts, people were being dramatic and then Carlos asked me, is this only in Denmark? And from that we decided to make this episode. First of all, no, it's not only in Denmark. I'm not expert on the subject, I just know what I read, what I followed. If you know more, then feel free to comment down below. I'll put all the links that I have to the guys who organized the thing. I'll put all the links in video description. I will try to put also a link to petition and link to hearing of a petition that happened in some smart European institution. Why do you thought that it's only in Denmark? I saw a lot of the tours post on Instagram, on Facebook, they were complaining about about these new rules coming in. I haven't seen that much people posting it in my country, so it made me feel like there's certain countries where people are more scared. I think it originally started in Austria or Germany, I might be wrong, but it's one of them. So it's not mm. also just Danish, it's just neighbors. Yep. And the main issue is that there are a few pigments, something number green and something number blue, that are considered dangerous, but they're considered dangerous because they're not proven safe. And that was the main idea. And uh, that was a podcast with people in States. They kind of touch on that subject lightly and it was kind of, we don't care, it's in Europe, so we'll be fine. That was the hearing. So first of all, they were amazed that people got more than 50,000 signatures. They said that it's a lot for any petition. And I think that was the number, so the parliament or the... I don't, I don't know what's the right name of the institution, but mm -hmm. the table look at it. So that was reached and uh, they said that's a lot of people. First it seemed that everyone will be like, these are the rules, Pro prove us wrong and that's it. But also the main lady host of, the, of that hearing, she said to those people who are for it being banned, they said, wait, it's not that it's proven dangerous, mm. it's just not proven safe, but it had to be proven dangerous. And then there was a lot of this bouncing there and back, and then there was one guy, but he was kind of more on tattooist side. Mm. He said, first of all, it would be fair that it would be proven or at least tested. And second of all, like countries just ban it now, it will not stop it from being around. People mm. will buy it on Amazon, people will buy it on eBay. You will be able to buy it illegally, <laughs> like you are already able to buy some colors that's not even part of uh, yeah, it's just, official. It's just put in a different shelf as an art color, but... I think it's gonna make the, all the industry more messy and dirty and illegal. Exactly, and that's the, what they said. They said if there are 50,000 tattooists who signed, there's even more that didn't, and they will need that stuff. And that will open all the black market, it will open fake yeah, kind yeah, of things, because yeah, yeah. no one will control Not those. proven uh, that it's actually good for the skin. But I was, it was so funny for me to even hear that they are trying to ban something that could be bad for you, but at the same time you can buy fucking cigarettes in the stores. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like, how, how is, does that make... But I, I wasn't worried about this, me personally, and I mean, my colleagues as well, we were... All, almost like laughing about it. It's like, th these colors will not disappear suddenly, you know? Yeah, but it will make it or more uncomfortable because, for yeah, example, yeah. now you buy it from your local supplier and you have it in three days. Mm. Next time you order from eBay and it's gonna come for two weeks and maybe it will be fake product, yeah. you know? So that's one but part. But like how, it's f still far away from, from banning yeah. it, right? No, but what they did with this petition, mm. it, it would have been banned on the day more mm. close. Now they got year or two more extended. The guys who organized it, they tried to reach to some committees and something, but they had no replies. So now at least the people are connected and they know that like, okay, we have to this test this ink. We have to reach out to this person. And now everyone knows that they know each other. So yeah. that person also can, because there were two institutions that was for the banning it. And they're like, yeah, we looked at it, but it's more like that institution and that institution. No, we kind of work together and it's your decision. Wow. So that was kind of a bit... It's but your I fault. Think it's, but it's just such a big industry, yeah. like uh, the all the color. I think it's not big enough. I'll try to put if that link still works for that yeah. hearing. It was interesting. It's a bit hard to listen because it's a lot of translations and it's all online and all that. Uh -huh. But uh, yeah, the, the size of industry, it's it's complete conspiratory type of a thing but mm. i read one tattooist think it was that special technique uh, whatever one 
one somewhat big tattooist posted this conspiracy that it wasn't big enough. It was tattooists making ink for tattooists. But now it's the time where bigger companies, like, you know, let's say a hair product company, mm -hmm. something like L'Oreal, they see like, oh, there's money to be made. Let's, let's jump into it. And then th those things can make it like, let's make everything super tested. Tests will be expensive. Small ink companies wouldn't be able to afford it. They just buy them off or they start to make their own products. Well, like it's tested this for everything. This is how things, I think this is the... And there's been a bunch of uh, posts where like, oh, what changed in this and this supplier company? Mm. And they were like, oh, it's bought by somebody way bigger, you mm. know? So that conspiratory but kind of makes sense you know and now but this is what happened with the other things from time to time you know and those tests apparently like they are super expensive and like complicated to do so maybe small ink uh, producers can't afford it if somebody is watching now know some chemistry or smart like savvy people in that field which deal with tests maybe some student could have as his project for school to, mm -hmm. to test some inks and well maybe ink industry is not big enough but if that student will prove right or wrong against bigger company maybe the bigger company will hire that's a little tip for somebody mm. not related to tattooing but to all that chemistry and testing that could mm. help or at least connect those bits there was the petition which was organized by those save the penguins guy link in description then there was the all the hearing and petition hopefully link in the description and hopefully <laughs> they work and afterwards they made this kind of post hearing live stream on their instagram save the pigments guys it was quite a lot of people listening there was also one guy from the the hearing who was on tattoo's side he was mm -hmm. also on that call on, on live stream i saw some comments where people were cheering but there were also people like from japan they said this is really interesting for us now because in japan tattooing became legal like what half a year ago they will have all these rules and all this crazy mm -hmm. stuff there were people from Spain commenting that situation is already pretty bad. You can't buy in Spain ink, but you can buy from other country because it's only licensed by one company that it's not even good and it's some dodgy stuff. So mm -hmm. it's already like every, actually since I started the doing, you can see slowly every year uh, the changes are getting more and more and more. In la in my country, uh, we can we have this supply store. Uh, tattoo supply store and we, we they can't get uh, fusion uh, ink in in that store i don't know if they are making up these stories but they say yeah it's uh, not allowed to sell that stuff in well or maybe owner didn't get a deal yeah <laughs> that's, that's uh, also more likely there is a uh, change is happening and that petition it's still i think it's still active or there will be another one because they said it's only beginning now because now at least they First, this petition was made to just bring attention that the subject exists and now they are out there and now they know what to do and who mm. to talk to. But there will be that petition reshared and uploaded or I don't know how it's what's the correct name, but it's mm. still important. It's not like, oh, we signed it, we got 50,000 signatures and we won. Yeah. It's, it's, we just, we just kicked the door open. Like, you know, it's, mm. so it's a, it's a, it's an interesting subject and uh inks now it's maybe some colors maybe later on it will be all the pigments and maybe later on it will be other things where it's like whatever i don't know you are only allowed to tattoo with this tattoo machine which is certified by this and that and uh maybe it's not your favorite yeah, tool you have to be with the certificate that you finished uh, the uh, school which is for doctors yeah that was actually a thing yep in Spain, yeah, that they were all stressed that it but would they, be they, only allowed for medics. The, there was also, they tried to do that similar thing in Lettland, in Latvia. And like all the tattooers, all the community was like, what the... Yeah, so you don't need much. Like it's kind of strange how easy that stupid rule can be made. And then you have to try really hard to fix the situation. Mm. So it's like... I think it's the time when you have to pay attention to those things. It's not just the silly stuff. It's like now we have that obligatory course that we have to do. And the guy reset all the information, which is basically available online. But you have to pay a guy 3000 and go to the course and sit through it. And he's like, 
yeah, tattooing is not sterile, you don't have to use gloves, blah, blah, blah. And you're like, really? Yeah. And you pay for them? Yeah, you have to pay for it. And the information is all in like tattoo law, tattoo regulations. It's just because the guy was there and he's like, can you show me how you wash hands and, or sanitize? Good, good. You spend the day, get a paper. It's all about the money. And that was only one course in English. So all the other English speaking tattooists don't have an option to apply to one now because it's not out there. Mm, it's scary times. Yeah, so that was my short story about Save the Pigments. And I think it's an important story and mm. I'm glad you asked. And I, like I said, I'm not an expert. I saw what's written there. I listened to hearing and I listened to that aftermath of that hearing and it seemed pretty important. And it's still important, like nothing has done. It's just now there's extra year or two to deal with that situation. And maybe in a year there will be again, everyone going crazy and stressing out about pigments. Yeah, don't be shy to look into those petitions. It was a bit annoying to sign it. It wasn't just you click a link, it opens, you have to put in some details because I guess it's more mm. legit type of a thing. So first time I opened, I was like, nah. <laughs> and then I was a couple days later, I was like, but it would suck if it would miss only a few votes. And actually, <laughs> I think it was out of 50,000, it was 50, like one or 53. So if, if it wouldn't be so active in the last week, mm. maybe it wouldn't happen. Yeah, go for it. Big respect to people who do those things, who actually reach out to, to institutions and who try to fix it. Because 70% mm. is like, ah, whatever, I'll mix my own thing. <laughs> yeah. Share your thoughts, like the video, share it if you find it important. And if you have some people who can help to sort that out, then there's a link to those Save the Pigments guy and try to connect some smart people, some testing people, chemistry people, I don't know what's what's needed, resource people. So yeah. help those dudes out. This is, this is about them. This video is about them. Cool. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the future videos.